These guys may be old Hollywood pals, but they sure love finding ways to publicly shame each other. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the Top 10 Jimmy Kimmel vs. Matt Damon Moments. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're focusing on the most classic moments of Jimmy Kimmel's made-for-TV feud with Matt Damon. Number 10. Mean Tweets Too bad they don't give an Oscar for blowing ass because Matt Damon would win every year. This faux feud got its start on ABC's Jimmy Kimmel Live, so it seemed inevitable that Matt Damon would make an appearance on one of the show's best running gags, Celebrities Read Mean Tweets. Matt actually closed out the sixth edition of the segment, reading a multi-layered insult that slams his filmography while also referencing his bromance with Ben Affleck. Hashtag no disrespect to Ben Affleck. As the camera zooms out, we see Jimmy reading along, clearly relishing getting to watch his nemesis read his handiwork aloud. Go buy another zoo and live in it, born eyed head. Adding to the hilarity, however, is the fact that Matt changes the narrative at the last minute, keenly noticing and calling out Jimmy's downward dog attire. Are you wearing yoga pants? No. He's wearing yoga pants. Number 9. Matt Damon as Tom Brady Number 12. Tom Brady, everyone! One day after winning his fifth Super Bowl, the legendary Tom Brady made a surprising appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Much to the disappointment of any Patriots fans in the audience, it actually proved to be Matt Damon in disguise, there to take his feud with the host to a new level. I think everybody I'm wants to see... <laughs> after the inevitable reveal, Matt goes on to make a passionate case for what constitutes an appearance on the show. Though Jimmy attempts to embarrass Matt by having him escorted out, it backfires when Guillermo asks Mr. Tom Brady for his autograph. It seems whatever Jimmy may think of Matt's acting, he's got enough chops to fool Kimmel's employees. Though clearly scripted, this sure was fun. And take your stupid helmet with you. Yeah. Number 8. The Tonight Show crossover. I'm very angry because Matt Damon, do you know who that is? In support of his latest film, Jason Bourne, Matt made the usual talk show rounds. Seemingly set to finally appear on Kimmel, Matt found himself once again blacklisted at the last minute after Jimmy took exception to a brief yet cutting jab on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Uh, you've been on like Jimmy Kimmel, I've seen that. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> no, you haven't. I haven't. No. The news naturally upset Damon and ruined what looked to be a nice green room party, complete with tasty Tostitos and Boston-themed posters. Sorry, dummy, we can't hear anything you're saying. You could sit there all night long for all I care. It's not one of the most highly produced clips from the feud, but the moment allowed Jimmy to further insult Matt Damon's filmography, including his 2003 film Stuck on You, which is unique to say the least. Advantage, Jimmy. Poor Greg Kinnear had to be Siamese twins with that guy for a whole movie. Number seven. Couples counseling. Please say hello to Dr. Phil. In this segment, Matt walks and talks like Dr. Phil, but he looks more like an alien, which actually kind of makes sense considering he was promoting The Martian at the time. Matt is in obvious distress, and Jimmy seems rattled too, which leads to a reveal. They are in therapy together. And this is what he does, and it's what he does so well. He like talks the talk, right? And now he makes me think I'm crazy. It's all about him. And truthfully, it's a disturbing dynamic. Matt is a submissive to Jimmy's power moves, while Jimmy takes every opportunity to mock Matt, again making reference to We Bought a Zoo. And just look at his face and look at his body. It's not a movie star face and not a movie star body. According to Jimmy, though, Matt has a dark side, as evidenced by a previous kidnapping. But more on that soon. Thankfully, this wasn't the last we'd see of their sessions. I got a whole marketing campaign that he thinks is stupid, that he makes fun it of me. Stupid. It's not stupid. Number six, Matt crashes the Emmys. Coming up on the show. Melly's couples counseling normally takes place in a contained setting. This confrontation was quite public. Can I help you? What do you want? Well, just calm down, man. Not only did Matt interrupt Jimmy's big hosting gig, he also trolled him about being a loser on his own show. I missed the last category. Did you win? It was a big moment for Matt, as he stood up for himself and fired back after years and years of supposed nightly shaming. Hey, can we cheer Jimmy up? How about, he, he's a big loser. 
Big round of applause. Yeah. He flipped the script, making Jimmy feel awkward and paranoid at work. A calculated move on Mr. Damon's part. For the icing on top, Matt delivered one final zinger, referencing one of his most famous movie lines. Uh, tell your mom I, I like them apples. Number five, baby mama drama. Can't Are wait to late. see you out. <laughs> Not long after trolling Jimmy as Tom Brady, Matt delivered another blow while visiting his baby mama. Unfortunately for Jimmy, the woman in question happened to be his wife. And so the drama unfolded as the true nature of Matt and Molly's relationship became clear. I'm the father. <laughs> father of... No, you're not. But the hospital narrative shifted to reality TV, with Matt making the shocking claim that Jimmy doesn't have an actual penis. Maury, there's no way that Jimmy is the father of Molly's baby. He doesn't even have a Both men hilariously play into baby mama drama stereotypes, yet a special guest upstaged them both. A man with a shocking reveal of his own. Guess who's coming to dinner? This particular installment of the feud is so absurd, it warrants multiple viewings. How could either of you satisfy me when all you really want is each other? Number four, sneaky Ben Affleck. Please welcome Ben Affleck. In 2016, Ben Affleck made a bizarre appearance on Jimmy Kimmel Live, in which he seemed to have gained a startling amount of weight between roles. Who knows, maybe he was just pregnant like Tracy Morgan? Anyway, Jimmy did not avoid the subject. In fact, suspicious, he tackled it head on, only to be shut down by Ben's accusations of body shaming. You've really ballooned up. <laughs> uh, thanks, I, I, just, I didn't think this was gonna be about body shaming tonight. Of course, it was just another Matt Damon scheme. And when Jimmy got forceful with Ben, Damon emerged, finally reaching the guest chair in the process. Watching you. Uh... <laughs> Jimmy unsurprisingly threatened legal action, since the rules are the rules. Off you go, Matt Damon. Not you, this is trespassing, this is potentially breaking and entering. <laughs> you know you could be, I could have you arrested right now for this. Number three, Matt Damon takeover. But tonight, you didn't run out of time for me, did you, Jimmy? No, no, I ran out of time for you. In 2013, the feud took a dark turn when Matt went zero dark 30 on poor Jimmy. On this night, Matt took his vengeance, taking over all aspects of Jimmy Kimmel Live and forcing his foe to watch. Finally, Matt Damon! With a scathing monologue, he took aim at Jimmy's comedic technique, even bringing out a Hollywood legend to solidify his point. The moment itself paid homage to the 1983 Martin Scorsese film The King of Comedy, and it was a clever bit that raised the stakes even higher, while giving a significant edge to Matt Damon. But if you bump a man long enough, a night will come when he bumps you back. <laughs> Number two, f Damon. Anyway, I've been thinking about you a lot, and uh, I've been needing to tell you something. In the early years of the televised feud, Jimmy Kimmel was dating comedian Sarah Silverman, yet she appeared nervous and awkward during a 2009 visit, setting the stage for a hilarious reveal. Here it goes. I'm Matt Damon. She's Matt Damon. In a highly produced clip, Sarah delivers a blunt message to Jimmy, with Matt obviously enjoying the gamesmanship of it all. A bed on the floor, on a towel by the door, in the tub, in the car, up again. Direct as the narrative may be, the video goes on and on, with Matt finally closing it out with one last zinger. Stop right there. Jimmy, we're out of time. Sorry. In the long run of this gag, however, it was Jimmy who got the last laugh, because after Sarah Silverman allegedly effed Matt Damon, Jimmy got sweet revenge by effing Ben Affleck. A vicious yet effective move. <laughs> Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. I doubt that. Why would you doubt that? Because I'm sitting in your office. <laughs> Dr. Phil teaches us that when the roost... Sorry, Kimball. You ran out of time. Because there's a star out there, Becky, at the end of the rainbow, a big old shooting star. Who we're and going I'm... to cut out of the movie. Are you kidding me? Number one. 
the nightly apology. Sincere apologies to Matt Damon. We ran out of time for him tonight. We'll get him on the air again soon. In reality, it's a bold move to bump an A-list star. And in the early days of Jimmy Kimmel Live, that very concept inspired the fictional Matt and Jimmy feud, when the late night host came up with a spontaneous line to make up for a poor show. Matt Damon apologies ran out of time. Like any great comedic bit, the ongoing nightly apology has a simple premise. One that, thankfully, both Jimmy and Matt have the comedic chops and celebrity clout to have kept running over the years since. Apologies to Matt Damon, ran out of time. And so, pop culture and public interest keep the feud burning, with both men fully committed to shaming each other on camera in the name of good fun. Unfortunately, we are totally out of time. Um, <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.